I would like to thank you and all the community for the warm welcome that has been reserved to our visit. I wanted to seek your permission, Togbi, to visit the community of Futi, where we run together a project called Far Banbo, which is aimed at uh, protecting fisheries resources and reinforcing livelihoods of uh, fisher community. I'm Togbi Bamini Gaou the fifth, Fia of Vuti in the Anglongan district of the Volta region of Ghana. We are lucky to have the Fari Bambo in the European Union funding this project to create a, to secure a landing beach for us. Well, we are basically fishermen. Fishing industry is the one we, is the main occupation around here. The project was implemented in Ghana with generous funding from the European Union. The project was implemented by a consortium of three partners, Friends of the Nation, Care International and then Oxfam. And the project was implemented along the coast of Ghana. It was implemented in the central region, western region, greater Accra and the Volta region. The project made a lot of impact on fisher foods. So Michael, you are lead fisherman in this community. You've been fishing all your life? I'm a chief fisherman. I'm a major fish. I'm a major fish. I'm a major fish. I'm a major fish. Up to 52 years now. There are no gulek or ever jet toshi she gum of your 42 years in here. So you at the age of 10. You started at 10? Yes, yeah. With your dad, possibly? Yes. Okay, and you have seen the fishing industry, artisanal fishing industry changing over the years. What has changed? My brother, Troy Kaku, my jet toshi she gum, to revime, I have a poor walk, I blab, man. What what did the project bring to the community? Yeah, European Union, a vagaram, a lava oba bajam, kura a toshishi naum, a ojiba yon, a bog, but tonamia, a young week at Dutch Jonami, a bakajikopa duana, a van yamania toshilana, or Mahuidam of Vieta, however, Manaba, Mio, a duakata, Mihuidam. The project brought fisher folks together, build their capacity, form them in groups to be able to monitor um, illegal fishing activities uh, offshore and uh, through this they were able to protect their fisheries resources to ensure that um, industrial trawlers and other fishers were not poaching and taking their fish. <laughs> The project also uh, contributed to improving economic well-being uh, uh, of the fisher folks. We realized that uh, fisher folks, especially small-scale fisher folks, had difficulty in assessing uh, credit or loan facilities. So we brought these fisher folks together. We had over 40 groups, especially um, about 80% of these group members were women and youth and mostly they brought together their money, they saved it together, and then they took loans from the money and they were able to use it to support um, the economic ventures they wanted to undertake. We also did livelihood trainings for these fisher folks and a lot of them gained new skills that they had other economic options that they could do in addition to the fishing uh, activities that they, they undertake. The project also worked with the local government uh, authorities to map up five landing sites 
for fisher folks. These landing sites are important spaces that fisher folk land their fish, they smoke their fish, they do offshore trading activities, onshore trading activities at these landing sites. And we realized that most of these landing sites were not documented, they were not secured, so they were sold out to investors, to hoteliers, to private developers. So this process of securing the fish landing site help produce mapping, documentation, and official uh, legal documents to cover these landing sites and secure them for the fisher folk for them to use. So with time and increase in population, we started uh, having problems. So especially at our landing beach. But now that uh, we are lucky to have the European Union funding this project, we have a way of securing it and keeping it safe for our operations. These landing sites are benefiting over 6,000 fisher folks as we speak now. So the project has made a lot of impact and also built the capacity of smallholder fisheries association to participate in governance and dialogue processes to ensure that the policies and laws and regulations about the fishing are implemented uh, to benefit the artisanal uh, fisher folks. So uh, the project as a whole has made a lot of impact uh, for the fisher folks. We are grateful for uh, the European Union for this project. Mm.